Hey guys, Smokey here with the final child out of this series. The one I don't like the most. Uh, I, I don't like the most. Don't like at all. Except for the animation. That's the only thing I like about this movie. Let's get into it. Spongebob, Sponge on the Run. So, I will say, when this movie was first announced, I was really excited because I was starting to like the second one a little bit. It was getting old enough. It's kind of getting nostalgic. You know, it's the only one I saw in theaters. Um, first one, yeah, I watch that thing every year at least once. <laughs> um, and then... Um, so this one comes around, and I'm excited for it, and they got delayed because of COVID. I don't even know if I can say that word, because apparently it's an offensive word to YouTube for some damn reason. But, um, that happened. Got delayed. And then, it finally came out, and it's pretty sure I watched it on Paramount the day it released. I might have watched it a day early on something else. I'm not 100% sure because back then I would um, watch movies early. It just happens. Uh, and I remember, you know, somewhat enjoying it. I don't like, like, like I said, I like the animation. And the story is a good idea, you know. Gary getting kidnapped, even though it reminds me of Gary Come Home a little bit. And I wish they would have put that song in it. <laughs> but... Um, sorry if you hear them talking, Birdie is not one, sorry about that, Birdie's not one to listen today, um, he, he's getting cheese out of the, like we had some cheese and breadsticks and Birdie's getting the cheese out of the trash, typical boxer shenanigans, um, but, anyways, you know, the plot's really good, the animation's really good, but the way, you know, Spongebob and Patrick are like, I know they're in the era of kind of being, like, really kiddish even though that was more of like season eight and like season five through eight in between those and season nine or they kind of tried to do a mixture of the two and it's somewhat working but in this movie they seem really kiddish but i do like the flashback scenes though i love how they have all the little easter eggs in the movie i've seen a few like on plankton's wall of failures there was the sponge bulwark from the episode where he takes Spongebob's brain out after Mr. Krabs bets Spongebob's contract. Um, I think that was the only actual one on there. I, I didn't really pay attention to it. I was just watching the movie, kind of. Yeah, like I said, I don't like the movie that well. Um, all the, you know, the camp coral stuff, even though you see how Sandy and Spongebob meet and tea at the tree dome. <laughs> but I also have been watching Camp Coral and I don't know if it's because of... Brody, please stop that. Brody thinks he's a cat. He's rubbing on my bed like a dang cat in the um, He's weird. But, the, like I said, I like the movie. Um, the voice acting is always phenomenal. Of course, Snoop Dogg and Danny Trejo being in it. I think I say Danny's last name. I always get in trouble by Dad for mispronouncing it. <laughs> so, so I always say it wrong sometimes just to make him mad. But um, it's you know, it's, their their part's funny. Uh, you know, it's just I like Danny the movie the best. Like I said, I like Camp Coral. If you guys want me to talk about Camp Coral in the video, I will. Um, it's only got like a season. And there's a few things I like and don't like about that. I would actually talk about like how I've been doing my ranking videos, which I need to do on Spongebob because I love Spongebob. But that's besides the point. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Sorry, this one really don't have much to say, but that's just kind of my thoughts on it. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing for the next one because... Yeah, I might do another Nickelodeon movie for this point. Might smack Brody for licking my leg. I, not really, but he, he's licking my legs and my feet today a lot. And I don't understand why he's being very weird. <laughs> but that's it. Peace. See you guys next time. Oh, and guys, other than Chris here, real quick, I um, just realized they're making a Sandy Cheeks movie. Because that's something you totally want. Anyways, peace.